Hey everyone, it's Sarah Thresher Nurse RN.com, and in this video, I'm going to be solving some weight based dosage calculations using the desired over half formula method. And as always, whenever you get done watching this YouTube video, you can access a free quiz that will give you some more practice questions. So let's get started. Our problem says that the physician has ordered four milligrams per kilogram per dose for a patient. And it tells us that our patient weighs 130 pounds. So what we need to solve for is how many milligrams per dose should this patient be receiving based on their weight and what was actually ordered. So the first thing what I need to do is I need to convert this patient's weight, which is in pounds, to kilograms because we're working with kilograms. So from the metric table, we know that one kilogram equals 2.2 pounds. So in order to get this 130 pounds to kilograms, I'm gonna take 130 and I'm gonna divide it by 2.2. When you divide that out, you get 59.09 repeating, and we're gonna round to the nearest tenth, so we're gonna get 59.1. So that's our patient's weight in kilograms. So now we need to figure out how many milligrams per dose should they be getting. So to do that, we can use this formula over here. So let me explain the formula first. This first part of this formula, we are plugging in the information that we get from what the physician ordered. So in this top part here, we will put the strength that was ordered with its units. So the units could be milligrams, micrograms, grams, units. Then that's gonna be over, hence divided by the kilograms. So that again comes from the part that was ordered. And this specific one says for every kilogram, so every one kilogram the patient weighs, they need four milligrams. So we would put a one there. Then we're gonna multiply that by the patient's converted weight. And that's what we just did over here. We converted this weight from pounds to kilograms. So we would plug that number in here and then we would solve and we would get the desired dose. Now with this problem, we're done. We don't need any more steps, we've already solved. So let me plug that in so you can see what it looks like. So here we're going to put in four milligrams, that's what the physician ordered, over one kilogram because for every kilogram the patient weighs, they need four milligrams. We're gonna multiply that by the patient's converted weight, which was 59.1 kilograms. And our kilograms cancels out, which is what we want. Then we're going to solve this. So four divided by one is four times 59.1. So when you multiply that out, you get 236.4 milligrams. And that is our answer. This problem says that the physician has ordered 0 0.50 micrograms per kilogram per dose, and the patient weighs 40 pounds. It wants to know how many micrograms per dose should this patient be receiving. So the first thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna convert that weight right here to kilograms. So we know that one kilogram equals 2.2 pounds from our metric table, and we're gonna take 40, which is how much they weigh, divide it by 2.2, and that gives us 18.18 repeating, and we round to the nearest tenth, which gives us 18.2 kilograms. So that is how much our patient weighs. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug into this formula to figure out that desired dose. So, pulling from our first part of our formula, they, the physician has ordered 0 0.50 micrograms over one kilogram, because for every kilogram that patient weighs, they need 0 0.50 micrograms. We're going to multiply that by how much they weigh in kilograms, which was 18.2. And we're gonna solve that, our kilograms cancels out. So 0 0.50 divided by one is 0 0.50 times 18.2. Whenever you multiply that out, you get 9.1 micrograms. So that is how much they need per dose based on their weight and what the physician ordered. This problem says that the physician has ordered 50 units per kilogram per dose for our patient, and the physician wants this to be given sub-Q daily. 
and we're supplied with a vial that says on its medication label that there's 5,000 units per ml. So for every one ml, there's 5,000 units in it. Our patient weighs 180 pounds. Now this specific problem wants to know how many milliliters per dose are we gonna to administer to the patient? So this is different than our previous problem. We're actually gonna to have to take an extra step. So the first thing what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and convert this patient's weight from pounds to kilograms. So 180 divided by 2.2 gives us 81 0.81 repeating and we'll round to the nearest tenth and that gives us 81.8 kilograms. So that's how much our patient weighs. So we need to figure out based on how much they weigh, how many units should they re be receiving based on what was ordered. So that's the first step because it says for every kilogram the patient weighs they need 50 units. So the first step what we're going to do is we're going to plug into this formula so we can get the desired dose. Then we're going to go to our second step and plug into the desired over half formula method to actually figure out how much we're going to give. So what was ordered? 50 units. And for every one kilogram that the patient weighs, they need 50 units. So one's going to go here. We're going to multiply that by what we solved over here for their converted weight. So 81.8 kilograms and kilograms cancels out. So we're gonna solve, so 50 divided by one is 50 times 81.8. When you multiply that out, you get 4,090 units per dose is what this patient needs. So we, know that. So based on how much this patient weighs, they really need 4,090 units. So I'm going to go ahead and just write that up here so we can remember that because I'm going to erase this part on the board so we have more room. So that's what we need. Now we are ready to plug in to this formula so we can figure out how many milliliters per dose we can give. So if you don't know how to use this formula, I have a whole video where I explain step by step how to plug in with this. So watch that video if you haven't checked it out. Okay, the desired part, what's it desired for the patient to have? Well, we just figure it out. They need 4,090 units. So we're gonna put 4,090 units. That's what they need over what we have. What do we have on hand? What does pharmacy supply us with? Pharmacy supplied us with 5,000 units per ml. So the strength goes here that we found on our medication label. So 5,000 units goes here. Oh, and units is canceling out. Remember with this method, these units have to cancel out in order to be able to solve this equation. If it's not, then, or this formula. If it's not, you're gonna have to go and convert. But luckily we don't have to convert. But, so we'll cancel those out. Multiply by the quantity. Quantity is the amount or volume based on that dosage strength that you're supplied with. So it tells us that there's one ml for every 5,000 units. So one ml is going to go here. And that's going to give us X, our desired dose. So divide that out and multiply. When we divide 4,090 by 5,000, we get 0 0.818 times one ml. Multiply that out and of course you get zero 0.818 and we are going to round that to the nearest hundredth because it's less than one. So we get 0 0.82 mLs per dose is what we are going to administer to our patient. This problem says that the physician has ordered 400 micrograms per kilogram per hour. So we're dealing with an IV infusion problem. And we're supplied with a medication bag that says on its label that there's 250 milligrams per 100 mLs. Our patient weighs 195 pounds. Now our problem wants us to solve for how many milliliters are we going to give per hour. So what are we going to set that pump to so this medication goes in at this prescribed rate based on how much the patient weighs. So since we're dealing with a weight based problem, let's go ahead and knock out that patient's weight and convert it to kilograms. So. 195 divided by 2.2 gives us 
8.63. We round that to the nearest tenth. That gives us 88.6 kilograms. So that's our patient's weight. Now, this is a multiple step problem. So the first thing what we need to do is we need to figure out that desired dose based on how much that patient weighs in the kilograms, how much are they supposed to be getting? So we're gonna use this formula first. So let's plug it in. What was ordered is 400 micrograms and physician wants for every kilogram that they weigh, one kilogram, they need that. So one kilogram goes here multiplied by what we just solved for over here, 88.6 kilograms, causes kilograms to cancel out. And we're going to solve our formula. So 400 divided by one is 400 times 88.6. That gives us 35,440 micrograms. So this is the desired dose that our patient needs to get, but we are not there yet. We still have some more solving to do before we actually figure out our problem. So let's erase this part. That's our desired dose. Now we have to take it a step further. We're going to use our desired over half formula to actually figure out what's to be given. So it is desired for that patient to have 35,440 micrograms. Based on what we have, what do we have? We have a bag that says it has a dosage strength of 250 milligrams. I'm looking at my units here, they are not matching up. So I'm already saying, okay, I can't solve this formula yet. I've got to do some converting, then I can solve my formula, but let's finish filling it out. Times the quantity. Our quantity is 100 mLs. This is the volume. So for every 100 mLs the patient's getting, there's 250 milligrams. So we're gonna put 100 here. And this is gonna give her what we're supposed to administer. So before we can solve, let's do some converting. We need to get 35,440 micrograms into milligrams. So that's what we're trying to figure out because we need these to match up. So the question is 35,440 micrograms equals how many milligrams? Well, we know from our memory of the metric table that one milligram equals a thousand micrograms. So since we are going from a small unit, which is micrograms, hence micro, and we're gonna go to a little bit of a larger one, milligrams, we're gonna divide by a thousand. So 35,440, divided by 1,000 gives us 35.44 milligrams. So 35,440 micrograms equals 35.44 milligrams. Now there's another way you could do this. It's a little math trick. Instead of dividing by 1,000, instead you can just move the decimal. It's the same thing. So instead, you could move the decimal, because so, normally when you write this number out, it looks like this, but there's a little decimal hanging out over there. You can move the decimal three places to the left. And um, because we're dividing by a thousand and we're going from something smaller to something larger, you would go left. So whenever you move it left, one, two, three, you get 35.44. Hence the same number as that over there, but it's whatever you prefer. So now that we have figured that out, Let's plug back into our formula and let's solve this problem. So it's desired for the patient to have 35.44 milligrams. And the reason how we got that is we just converted those numbers. So 35.44 milligrams over what we have, 250 milligrams. And look, they match up, so they cancel out. We're excited about that because we know we can solve them. We're almost done times 100 milliliters. So let's work that out. When we divide that out, we get 0 0.14176 times 100. And when you multiply that out, you get 14.176 milliliters per hour. And we're going to round to the nearest whole number. And when we do that, we get 14 
milliliters per hour. And that is our answer. Okay, so that wraps up this video on how to solve weight-based calculations using the desired overhive method. And if you'd like to watch more dosage calculation videos, you can access the link in the YouTube description below.